on the agenda tonight, uh, Akiko will introduce us to or make a brief introduction to our company, New Hungary USA. Then um, our guest speaker, Logan Lacos, I hope that I pronounced your last name correctly. Uh, he will have a presentation about what you can get uh, from Hombat. Then I'll brief you about the housing market in the Dublin area, uh, Madison, Alabama as well. And then Mickey will talk to us about expat traffic and investment opportunities. Then I'll speak to you again about our unique listing and property management services. Uh, Akiko, would you go ahead and please start us off with the introduction? Hello, everyone. Um, some of you, good morning. Um, thank you for coming to Nihongo Day USA's monthly meeting. Um, I would like to introduce Nihongo Day USA to you. Um, our management philosophy is to create an environment where people can open up their potential and to recreate the roles of Japan. We create lease homes for expatriate families from Japan and opportunities to build assets by investing in those homes. In 2022, we continue to work on the nationwide expansion of these two services and the development of Japantown in the central Ohio region. Next slide, please. This is our one-stop real estate service. So Japanese expats come to the Midwest where it's mostly commonly houses owned by the owner or the resident. But because of the company rules, they are not allowed to purchase a home. Thus, they come to us and look for a rental home. When expats approach us, if we have inventory homes for lease, and then they like any of that, yes, they will move into those leased homes in the inventory. But if what they look for doesn't exist in the inventory, we show them houses on the market. Once they cho choose a house on the market, uh, we'll have investor purchase the house. And then at closing, the expat's family moves into the house. So as an investor, you can purchase a home which already has a long-term tenant. In Columbus, Ohio, their average stay is 4.5 years. Um, so that gives you security of you, to your investment. So therefore, our service has been very popular. Once you purchase the home, then we help you uh, move in with the tenant. And then we start property managing the home for you as well. When you are happy with the purchase and you want to continue to expand your assets, then we help you refinance or uh, you get the cash out from equity or you add your own money to purchase more homes. And that's why uh, today's topic homebot is very, very important because that gives you a tool that you can check to see how much equity you have built with the investment you already purchased. And also you can start searching where you should buy because we not only help in Columbus, Ohio, at the same time, we help in Alabama and also Indiana. And depending upon where you purchase the home, your cash flow changed significantly because of the differences in property tax. So Homebot even gives you an opportunity to explore, to see where you can have your next home as well. Right, Logan? Yeah, absolutely. So our guest speaker is uh, Logan, and uh, Logan, I'll give you the screen to share if you would like. Of course, thank you for that introduction. Hope everybody's having a good morning, midday, evening, depending on where where you're tuning in today from. But yeah, Homebot is a super exciting program designed entirely to help you build wealth through real estate and. Sure, certainly sounds like Nihongo de USA has all the resources to help you guys achieve that dream of building wealth through real estate, whether it's through your primary home and investment property. The fact is there's just so many different opportunities out there 
and it can be hard to keep track of what might be best for you. So starting with just taking a look and getting a better understanding of your home's value, how your home's value might appreciate in its market and how much equity, what's your net worth? How can you start to plan for the future to achieve your goals? Using your equity to buy an investment property. Maybe you're looking to uh, do some remodeling and how you use your cash flow will determine where you are in your, your home ownership competency later on. So for those of you that don't know what HomeBot is or, 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 or aren't that familiar with it, Nihango de USA is, is setting you up with a monthly report for your home. And if you're looking to purchase a home, as was, as was mentioned, we have a listing search and a market explorer feature that you can look in a market, whether it's Indiana, the Columbus area, Alabama, you can search for homes and you can allow that uh, journey to be something you can do just in the comfort of um, your own space. And of course, when you need expert guidance, you know exactly who to call, but it's very simple. You can expect to start receiving your monthly HomeBot report that will allow you with one click of a button. There's no login. You don't need a username. You just click the button and it opens the report for you. So from that email, when you click open that report, it will take you to a screen that looks just like this. And up here at the top, it'll show your home. But of course, if you own multiple properties or you would like to receive HomeBot, for multiple properties, you can always add a home and just click back and forth. So you're able to compare the value, your equity in, in each property that you own just as easily as you can go search the market. You can search for homes. You can check out different listings, a customized buying report based on your goals and your needs. How much do you think you can afford and what is healthy goal setting both for a timeline and what types of payments you'll be able to afford, uh, what you're comfortable paying. And of course, when it comes to the specific market you're looking to buy in, property taxes is something you'll want to consider um, as well. I, I, I should I should pause just in case there's any questions we want to answer. I'll, I'll let the Nihongo Day USA team uh, interrupt me if, if they see if I don't know if we're utilizing some sort of chat or if there is a way to, to have questions answered, please just interrupt me. But I'm planning to just go through the, the HomeBot report step by step, just as I would expect you as a homeowner to go through it and explore it for your for your own asset. Or, of course, if you're planning to purchase a home, we'll go through that as well with with our explore markets and our buying report. So the first exciting thing that HomeBot will show you is how much is your home worth? Now we take this directly from a AVM. It's based off an algorithm in a market that's constantly changing. You're never going to have the same value today as it might be a week later, a month later. It's always fluctuating. So it's important to look at this value. And if you think this value is off, if you feel like your home is worth more, that's absolutely a conversation. You should reach out to Nihongo and, and to their team uh, because the, they want to help you with that. And what's unique about HomeBot is it's not like a, a Zestimate on Zillow. It is what it is and you can't change it. No, HomeBot is supposed to be your personalized dashboard, a monthly tracking of your home. So we want this number to be correct. So you can, you can absolutely reach out. The phone number is listed inside HomeBot. You can click on a button or you can do it yourself. If, if HomeBot shows that your home is worth 630,000 and you feel like it's worth 650,000, that's something you're able to change. We want you adding more information. The more information you give to HomeBot, the smarter it will become. How many bedrooms do you have? How many bathrooms? Maybe uh, HomeBot missed that you have a third bathroom or you, you added a, a bathroom. How big is your home? So we want to take you through these questions so that HomeBot has a better understanding of, of where you're at and 
providing an accurate reflection of how much your home is worth, how much it's worth to you. So if you've done any changes, remodeling, new floors, new appliances, that's something that you can come in and you're encouraged to go ahead and select those so that the dashboard becomes smarter. So your estimated home value was say 630,000, you've successfully changed it to 650,000. So that's the first thing. If you haven't already opened your home bot report, you definitely want that to be the first thing you take a look at. Do I think my value is correct? And um, it's certainly something you can reach out to Nihongo and, and discuss further. Depending on what this number is, the estimated value of your home, of course, down here, that will reflect the net worth of your home. Based on the loan information for you as a borrower paying off your home loan, we will show that over here to the left. And that's another area we would want you to double check and verify. This is pulled from, from public records, the public data that was filed when you, uh, when you started paying your mortgage. So if for some reason the interest rate is off, that's something that you'd want to come in here and, and change it to reflect that and then save those changes. Because of course, these numbers listed here is what is pr pr uh, producing the calculation of your net worth. Logan, if the housing price is in question and you want to contact us, how do you do that from this um, window? If you click this little wrench, and that's a great question, they can click Tune Value, and they can click this little checkbox. All right. So once they click that checkbox, it'll send you a, a notification and you can reach out. But of course, as a homeowner, you know, we'll always encourage you to, um, to reach out via phone. And you'll notice inside HomeBot as we, we cover a little bit more of the content, there are a lot of pink chat bubbles that you can click a button and raise your hand. Any question that you might have after looking inside your HomeBot report, you just click on a pink chat bubble and the Nihongo team will receive that message from you and they'll, they'll be reaching out shortly, I'm sure. Yes, we love to hear from you. <laughs> so the next thing that I'll share is what, what's happening in your market. We're showing you a scatter plot graph here that's helping you understand what's happening in the market. Is it a good time to sell your home? Is that something that would be beneficial for you to, to sell your home? I mean, right now, home appreciation is skyrocketed, so you'd certainly get a lot of cash from that sale but then you also have to think what are you going to be doing with that cash so if you're thinking about selling your home there's a lot of insights inside homebot that's personalized to you starting with let's say the appreciation i just mentioned the fact that you have a good cash position you can click more details here are some strong signals that it might be a good time to sell this is one of the, the, the foundational pillars of HomeBot and our mission is to put the information and the education in front of the consumer. The beauty of HomeBot is that you're in the comfort of your own home, looking at this information, deciding how it's making you feel, how it is, is helping you plan for the future. And then of course, when you're ready, you can click on a pink chat bubble and the Nihongo team is here to help you. So all of this is, is designed to be structured for you to learn at your own pace. This information, it comes easier for some than it does for others. HomeBot is designed to help you learn how to be a better homeowner. Should I hold on to my house? My, my home value has grown you know, 10% over the last few years. This is how much cash I might net if I sold my home. This is all really good information that you'll want to be checking out uh, on a monthly basis, if not at least uh, every, every, every so often. You can access HomeBot directly from your phone or your, your tablet. It doesn't just have to be from a computer. We're mobile friendly. So everything that you're being seen or being shown right now uh, can be easily accessed on your phone. And of course, if you'd like to learn more, 
how's the market for buying? Do you know any buyers that might be interested in my home? Lean on your professional team here uh, that's providing you HomeBot because they're, they're there to help and serve you. So we've only covered two small sections of HomeBot. That should start to give you guys an idea of how much exciting stuff is actually in here to help you guys be better at home ownership, be better at investing in real estate, growing your asset, building net worth, planning for your, your, your children, your, your retirement, whatever, whatever it might be, what's important to you. So just to, to share a little bit more exciting things below where we show you your net worth and your home's value and your loan information, all of that is then broken down into your principal payments. So on a monthly basis, we want you to be able to have this tracking of how much money is paying off your loan versus how much money is being paid in interest. Now, all of these numbers showed green, green, green a couple of years ago, or at least in the last year or two when rates were super low. But what's always important to understand about the real estate industry and the market in general, the housing market, it's cyclical. There's ups, there's downs, interest rates will go back down. If you're living in your home uh, for the long term, well, you can adjust what a refi might save you in interest. And you'll notice that these numbers here will change based on how long I plan to keep this home. The, the main takeaway is that you're understanding how much you're paying off your loan and, and keeping track of that information. And if, if you could, if you have a high interest rate and you might be able to qualify or it makes sense for a refinance, well, Nihongo is here to, to point you in the right direction. If that's the case, HomeBot will, will help you understand your options as well. Moving on to show you some other stuff here. I love this when we talk about purchasing a home and, and really how this meeting was started, understanding your purchase power, understanding how you can leverage equity, increase your cash flow, put tenants in a property, buying an investment property, purchasing a new home. All of these are different categories of your options. And we want to make sure to put this in front of you so you can be thinking about it. We want to show you, hey, if you took a percentage of your equity and you used it as a down payment, this is how much home you could afford. And we can be planning early in the, in the, uh, the journey of buying a home. You can be planning for, okay, how much money do I actually need to purchase this investment property to, to make sure that I, I don't... Um, I don't get behind on my payments, but I, I can actually responsibly do this in a way that, that makes sense for me financially. So we'll show you pros, cons, consider if you know you have time to be a landlord or if you use a property manager, um, what your monthly mortgage payment would be. And of course, all throughout, if we're helping you think about planning your next purchase, that's where you can start your search. And we'll, we'll be showing that here in a minute. But whether it's an investment property or let's say purchasing a new home, we want to give you insights. There's helpful videos inside HomeBot that you can open and watch at your leisure that, that are helpful as well. And then let's, let's say that your interest is not buying a home right now. That's okay too, because there's plenty of opportunities when it comes to how to leveraging some of your equity. Are you in debt? Do you have student loans or credit card debt that you can consolidate? Maybe you need more of an emergency fund. HomeBot is designed to make you a smarter homeowner and just smarter or more, more financially um, fluent, I should say, as financially fluent as you can be in every category of your finances. So if you can leverage your, your home's net worth, your equity to put you in a better position in another area, that's definitely a conversation worth having with an expert. So what option might be best for me? 
showing you another one of those pink chat bubbles. You can't get very far in HomeBot without an easy place to raise your hand and say, hey, I have a question. I might not be ready to, to, to be serious, but I would, I would like to hear some more information on my question. And that's what HomeBot's all about. We know not everybody out there is, is ready to make a decision today. That's why you get your monthly update. So when the timing's right, you have the resources here available to you. We also like to show renting your home on Airbnb makes sense in more markets, uh, some more than others, but it's a fun thing to think about how much you might earn if you rented a house on Airbnb. What kind of revenue, what kind of cash flow could you bring in? Uh, could it pay your mortgage? Could you use that money and pay off your loan faster and just get three steps further along in your journey as, as trying to uh, accumulate real estate wealth and maybe purchase another home or an investment property to rent on Airbnb. And then here at the bottom of the home report, the last section, we of course know that that HomeBot's super exciting. So I hope everybody that's tuning in today is enjoying this. They're excited to go and look at their HomeBot report. And if for some reason, uh, you do not have this in your inbox, please reach out to Nihongo Day USA so that they can add you into HomeBot. And at the same time, I know that you have a friend, a family member, a neighbor that might not know Nihongo, but certainly should know HomeBot. So you have the opportunity here inside your dashboard to share this with your friends and your family, other homeowners and home buyers that would would benefit from seeing this. I mean, how could you not benefit from, from seeing this information tied directly to your property? So you can plug in their name. There's an invite link. You could text them off your phone. You could share it to Facebook. And of course, that's just opportunities for them to have the value of HomeBot and the resources of Nihango Day USA to, to help them along too with their journey. So I'll pause any questions from the team here before we discuss uh, some of the home buyer content. Does Good anybody have any questions? Feel free to speak up. Logan is here for you to answer your questions. Yeah, I have a question. Sure. Okay. Should should I use the phone app of Homebot or is it better to see on the computer by, you know, website? Because, you know, some of investors and me too, we are in Japan. I wonder if I can download Homebot app on my phone. So we we don't have an app. Everything okay. is through everything is through the email, which means doesn't matter where you are in the world. Mm -hmm. You can look at it easily on your computer from your email or on your phone from your email. Obviously, when it comes to mm -hmm. learning, learning about this, a bigger screen mm -hmm. is better. So a, a computer mm -hmm. would be better, but it's so easy to go on your, your cell phone and, and look at all this as well. Uh, maybe you you don't you're not at home you're you're out on the go and you want to check out the information you get mm -hmm. the alert that you got your your new email your homebot report of course we want people to to just open their email on their cell phone and look mm -hmm. at all of this okay so the screen you you showed us is the you can see the cell phone uh, you can see that screen on my cell phone but it's by email when you open the email you see the screen correct okay. yep so okay. you would just you would get the the home report inside your email mm -hmm. on your phone it would look mm -hmm. just like this on your phone you click see your value and on your phone it will take you to the report okay thank you yeah absolutely so more information for, for looking for a home, if you're thinking about purchasing, it's a challenging market out there, right? It's competitive, but it's not impossible. So HomeBot wants to put the right tools on your tool belt to help you 
plan uh, and house hunt in the most effective way. So we ask you inside HomeBot, how much do you think you can afford? What is your target price point? So let's just say I put 350,000 here for a home in Alabama, Indiana, or Ohio. I would say that's pretty average. So 350,000, I can come and explore markets. And then once I look at those markets, I can save them. And that's what you're seeing here. So I'll show you that in a minute, but you can immediately ask a question. Hey, I'm thinking about buying a home. What area should I be looking at? Is there anything I should know about? You can also ask a, a custom question, something that you can just type out here. So we'll look at exploring markets here in a moment, but how long might it take to buy based on the zip code that I've indicated? We want to show you what the, the average is um, here for how long it might take to buy. Logan, well, we have a question here in the chat. Um, it says, can we save the URL and favorite to use uh, to use in multiple times instead of searching the email like every single time? Absolutely. That's a really good question. And I should have said that. Um, yeah, definitely feel free to save this on your computer, on your phone as a favorite, as a bookmark. That's a really good idea. I will say that every three months, I believe it might be six months, uh, just for security, you'll lose access to the link that you have favorited. So keep that in mind that every three or six months, if you do save HomeBot to your computer, eventually you'll have to go into your email and get the the, the most up-to-date report and then just save it again that's just a security uh privacy thing we um, don't we don't want somebody to to somehow have access to your information um we have another question from the same uh gentleman how is the search from homebot is different than searching different websites uh like zillow or uh, realtors.com or any of those real estate uh, websites. So it, what it's differentiates not, uh, HomeBot? It, it's not too different. Uh, it's, I'm not gonna lie to you and, and say that Zillow <laughs> doesn't, um, oh, you know, they, they hold like 80% of the market. If you're searching for a home in the United States in 2022, and you're not looking on Zillow, you're doing yourself a disservice, but many tools on your tool belt so you take some time and you look at the listings experience on zillow but what's a little different than zillow inside homebot is we want to help you understand the market with visuals we're not so much focused on the the listings themselves but what's your price point what do you think you can afford and then let's look at the temperature of the market and what i mean by temperature is what is inventory like? Are you wasting your time searching in this market when you could have better luck in, in a different side of town, a different zip code? So we separate as it as it loads here. I uh, apologize. I've been having some some slow internet, but if we give it a minute, and I'll actually ask you guys, maybe I'll do Columbus as a as an example search. So in a way, HomeBot is more personalized uh, than other ones, and you can uh, have more control over uh, criteria or you know uh, things that are more specific to your needs than uh, uh, other uh, real estate uh, websites. Is is that true, Logan? That that's correct. That's that's a good summary. We we really care about HomeBot being personalized. It saves everything right where you left off. And we want it to help you understand the bigger picture of your home search so that you're not wasting time going after the wrong houses on, let's say, Zillow or, or Realtor.com or really any, any listing search out there. So as this loads, I'm going to zoom in here. And if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, what is market temperature? In a minute, each zip code, you're going to see numbers on the map. 
the higher the number, it means it's more of a seller's market. There's a lot of competition. There's low inventory, whereas more of a, a buyer's market is a, a better, you're going to have better luck with inventory. Um, so just based off a price point of 350,000, we're able to see that there's a fair amount of competition regardless of where you're searching. And that is to be expected. That's what we know is that it's going to be a challenge regardless, but are you really going to go search in the zip code that is a hundred on the scale, or maybe should you be looking over here a little bit farther outside of town in this 68 or maybe a, a 64. So this is designed to help you understand where might be a, a place uh, that you're going to be wasting your time because you'll get outbid or somebody will come in with, with an offer that, that you can't compete with. Um, any, any questions initially on, on this search map? Because we, we love being able to show these different numbers. Uh, one question is, uh, will the search criteria be saved for uh, future searches? Meaning once they, they come back in a week or a couple of days or tomorrow, uh, are those search, searches? Yes. Saved? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you'll see up here where my mouse is, I have a, a favorites bar. So you can save them as soon as this loads and I do apologize. We were going so great um, until this moment, but each one of these zip codes, there's a heart. And if you click that heart, it becomes a favorite. So anytime you come back in, um, you can, you can just save as a favorite. Good question. Logan, I saw that you had a feature about finding out how much you can lease your home or space for Airbnb on Airbnb. Do you have that the same thing with that Airbnb typical month, uh, monthly rent or for a year rent? Do you have that kind of uh, stats as well there? Yeah, I can, I can show you. So we're taking the average, we get that data directly from Airbnb. So we know the average uh, rate to stay at an Airbnb in, in every, um, every market. So it will show you the, the, how much you could earn if it's just a, a, a daily um, if you're renting it like for three days versus if you rent it for a month, uh, as we go back, I don't think it'll show you if you rent it for a whole year, but you can certainly do the math off of a month. I have too many, too many browsers open, I think. So sorry that it's going slow. <laughs> It was trying to come out and then it just disappeared. Okay. Yeah. So it shows you annual revenue as well as monthly revenue based on how many days or how many nights you would, you would rent. I see. So you're, you're, uh, getting the data Can from you guys the, see it now? the, uh, not yet. Not yet. I must be neither. Getting the data from Airbnb, the feed. Correct. Correct. Any other questions? The, the one thing that I'll say to everybody that is taking the time to tune in. I appreciate you learning more about HomeBot. Now I encourage you to either it's later today 
or this week to, to open your HomeBot report and start to take a look and scroll through and get familiar with it. And of course, if you have any questions, do not be shy. That's the whole point of sending HomeBot to you is so that we can have conversations uh, about the content with the expert. And that's who's sending you HomeBot. Yes, that is great. That is the idea is to send HomeBot to every single client of ours. Uh, simply just to learn more about the market and their needs. And if they have any questions, any concern, uh, please reach out to us. Um, of course, we're more than happy to answer any questions about the market. And if you have specific questions about HomeBot, of course, we have Logan as the expert today. And we can always reach out to him uh, via email or any other means to, to answer your questions specifically about the website and uh, home so if you have any questions today uh please uh, feel free to uh, uh to ask uh while we have the expert and um if not uh let me see is this the screen okay this is basically um uh only available with the partnership with the real estate agent right logan the consumers wouldn't be able to have an access to HomeBot on their own. That's correct. They are only getting HomeBot from you. Very good. What you see on the screen here is a brief uh, description or summary of what you can get with HomeBot. And uh, anything, uh, I think the whole presentation or uh, this breakdown or this summary uh, will be sent uh, by Mickey for anybody who's attending and would like a copy of this or um, a copy of the presentation that was uh, uh, done by uh, Logan. And if you, again, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask, whether it be a chat or- uh, There's another chat question, Sam. I did not see it. Yeah, I just, I just saw that that question here. Um, so that, that's a good question. If you are looking at buying a the home. question is, do you have a feature to allow users about a great deal that is very hot, meaning the price is great compared to the market? Yeah, so that, that's a good question. What we actually set you up with is a second email that gives you, so you'll receive, if you're a homeowner, you'll receive a HomeBot report, an email to you, once a month. But if you go inside HomeBot and you're looking at the market, you're, you're checking out buying a home, HomeBot will remember that and it'll send you an email, monthly updates on those markets. So it won't, it won't send you an email about a specific uh, listing, but it will send you a monthly update. Hey, this is what's going on with the market. Here's where you might have some luck click in and, and take a look and see what you can find. Okay, yeah, I see another question here. How do you come up with the market numbers? Uh, you know, how does um, uh, HomeBot calculate uh, these values? Yeah, so we're, we're partnered with a company called Altos and Altos, they are a very large MLS real estate data aggregator. So we're getting all of their data fed into HomeBot. They're constantly scanning every local market, the MLS, housing prices, um, and then they're taking all of that, putting it together to for us to understand it the way you see it in HomeBot. Okay, um, any other questions? Am I sharing the correct screen here? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, Logan, thank you so much for the presentation. Uh, again, a ton of tools for uh, for this uh, application. Uh, very helpful. I see one more question here. Um, sounds like a great personalized tool. What is the data protection security policy? For many, uh, 
premium services, I feel sometimes I'm trading my privacy into uh, or in exchange for the service. My digital service provider sell off my customer's data to, uh, to monetize. Monetize. Um, is that info input like loan info secure? One one thousand percent. And and I, I appreciate <laughs> you asking asking that question because unfortunately it's something that you have to be worried about out there. There's plenty of companies that will sell off your information. We feel extremely strong about customer privacy, loan privacy, all of your information inside your home report at the very bottom you can read in our privacy policy how serious we are about data protection and security um, so rest assured that the only place this information lives is inside your homebot report that is protected inside the nihongo homebot account that allows uh, you guys to receive it that's why I asked Logan the question, you know, you cannot sign up uh, on your own as a consumer, unfortunately. This only make it available through us as a realtor. And because I helped you purchase or lease um, this home, that's why I have the information. You're the owner of this house. And that's that we are providing this service through us. And uh, the reason that they are not selling this information to any other vendors is we're paying their service. And we also partner with a uh, lender. So therefore, you are interested in refinancing, finding out what's the best way to refinance, then we have a financial partner. So financial partner, the lender and us are the sponsor of this service. Very good. Uh, great questions from uh, our uh, clients here, our audience. Uh, thank you so much for bringing the light to these questions. Uh, anybody else has uh, any questions? Uh, Logan is here and uh, Nihongo de Columbus or Nihongo de USA's team is here as well. Yeah, and as Sam mentioned, they, ha they have my, my contact information. So if, if you do have questions, reach out to their team and they can certainly reach out to myself and I'm happy to help. But thank you guys for, for your attention today. I'll, I'll hang around for a minute if anybody else does have a question. Otherwise, I'll, I'll let you get to the rest of your meeting. All right. Thank you so much again, Logan. Uh, great presentation and uh, again, a ton of information. Thank you. Thank yeah, you very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. My pleasure. You guys have a, a good rest of your day. Thanks. You, you too. too.